been the word of the day. So we can I reiterate think, that. Yeah. I think we're all feeling that. Gaming Gladiator is not dropping a single game today. And I don't think they plan on starting now as the grand finals are underway. And we're seeing Toon go into that central area as they do day in and day out. Full Send also going to be in the central area with Charmander. So good choice. Good choice. Again, we've mentioned the uphill battle that is for a Charmander usually. You know, you want to you want to be evolved. Here we're gonna see some early points in, very nice of course, but still just kind of four and two, that's totally fine. Gaming Gladiator's pushing through with that nine now. Yeah, Gaming Gladiator's gonna wanna feed their Jigglypuff Zugrug to make sure they're Wigglytuff so they can lead the charge in with Sing, just as Full Send will do as well. They're a little bit behind on experience, but not much, it's still early. Otter VGC gonna try and run past Lutano, get some points in and get those stacks on that attack weight. And so we are seeing the rotation right now. It does look like Full Sin's Charmeleon, now we can call it, has actually kind of come to assist here on the top path. And so Celestial, look at a dunk in that 16, and it says, okay, no, I see it. Lutano's here. So yes, let's go ahead and back it up a little bit, maybe throw some warning shots out, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, just a good distraction. Celestial waiting for Otter to join them up top of uh, Lutano so they can posture around the bees. But downstairs, it's gaming gladiators all over the bees. And look at Toon there to pick up the experience. And now Full Send is going to have to push back as Indie Bear is still a Gossifler. Just make it into that Eldegoss. But gaming gladiators with the personnel advantage able to push and get the bees, get the experience from this contestable Audino. And gaming gladiators slowly sliding this bottom path. And it's good that you point out the Gossip Floor, the Elder Goss discrepancy. We do see snow points still for full send in that Gossip Floor form. You, you know, it's not going to be as, let's say, important as, you know, let's get that red love, let's get Bloodline. He has Wiggly Tough right now. Let's get them evolved. Notice Otter putting a little bit more pressure here in the central area, and Toon wants to answer back with that with a KO. Are we going to see it? Just barely. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Toon is not the person I would challenge at this stage in the game. Otter found themselves a long way from home, and they caught their receipt for that decision. Gaming Gladiators looking good, getting some good experience here, and certainly out-leveling full send. So they've got the 35 point lead on the scoreboard and the experience lead as well. Lutano doing very well for Gaming Gladiators there up on the top path because you notice a few times Celestial has to keep on shooting out whether it's the Fire Blast or something else. Just some of these warning shots. Look at that disgusting in the most best way, of course. Toon going to secure that KO right here on the bottom path. Notice the 16 going in for Gaming Gladiators. Looking nice, boys. Toon knife forward, grabbed that berry before the wiggly tough and then got the KO. Absolutely nasty work downstairs for the for Toon, the Cinderace. And now Gaming Gladiators is starting to rock and roll. Couple players down, but they can't feel too bad about that. They'll be back in the action when Dreadnought shows up. Lutano slowly moving down the map, and that's a player we're gonna keep an eye on as this Dreadnought populates. I think it's important also to keep an eye on the red love right now. You've got to be sweating a little bit, you know, as that Bulbasaur you want to evolve right here. We're a little bit late, just a little bit, but you compare those levels between the two teams, and now we're going to see that seismic slam from Charizard, that unite move as they come through and battle for that Dreadnought, the left side team. That is Gaming Gladiators, ladies and gentlemen, on the purple squad, getting the KOs, getting the Dreadnought. There goes the Aura Cannon, and let's see the assault to come. I mean, that was just good work all around the board by Gaming Gladiator. The Charizard came in to try and pick up Full Send, but they didn't have enough firepower to do so as Gaming Gladiators takes the body, takes the KOs, takes the Dreadnought, takes the experience, takes the shields, and takes a goal zone. You are right, taking our hearts as well, because this is 171 right now in Gaming Gladiator's favor to Full Send's two. Anything can happen still. We have, you know, just a six minutes on the timer approximately. Notice Full Send wants to send this on through. Notice the red love. We're, we're going to point these things out until we can kind of get a little bit closer of a match maybe. Celestial will go ahead and pick up that berry, so that's nice. It's going to deny a heal perhaps with this push. Yeah, they're pushing hard, and Red Love finally making it to Ivysaur, something we've been keeping an eye on. Zugra getting caught, probably going to go down here, stuck in the slow smoke. But here comes Game and Gladiators as a unit. Lutano engages immediately, takes out snow points. And now the push is going back the other way. As look at where Toon is in No Man's Land on the top side of your map here. They're going to have free access to Rotom if they want it. And finally, Otter making a move. Lutano, five levels above that Ivysaur. Are you kidding me? I mean, even the Eldegoss is three levels on the Ivysaur, and Red Love cannot feel good about that. And you know who is feeling good? That is Game and Gladiators. I hope that I am the one to coin this. If not, let me go on record right now as saying that this team is like a symphony. Each one of those members knows how to play their instrument, if you want to call it that, to use that metaphor. 
and really they drill at home man they know how to do it so look at this just absolutely devastating clearing out that top path making wiggly tough on the run right there for full send that gives them a chance to go ahead and hit this rotom up nothing staccato about game and gladiators flow right now doc as they seal the rotom after closing out the goal zone which means that thing is going downtown and game and gladiators feeling good up by 170 ish points here and as you're making your way downtown, ladies and gentlemen, you can also notice that the Dreadnought is on the map, but Red Love really with his hands full right here. Luckily, the Ivysaur, as we've been noting, but man, it's just those level disparities and all. Look at how Gaming Gladiators just disposes of anybody who wants to test, and so they will secure that Dreadnought for a second time. I mean, it is just a sad state of affairs here for Full Send. They're down on the levels. They're not posturing well. They're not moving together, and their attention is split. Gaming Gladiators on their hand. They're jockeying for position. They're doing well, and they're communicating well. Zugrug and Goof going to hold down the bottom a little bit. Zugrug actually doing it with a solo job. And Snowpoint's going to try and join the flow of the rest of the squad as Zug goes for the back door here on them to try and flank a little bit. Just posturing, just posturing. Gaming Gladiators not giving an inch. And to, of course, use the name of Full Send. You can see they are, are sending a Full Send up to the top, but we can catch just before that top path, Charizard going to throw down the Seismic Slam. And that Unite move can be so powerful, they will catch Lutano as he tries to run back in Celestial. Very, very nicely done. Snowpoint's also going to go ahead and score in while all that was going on. Full Send is trying to say, like, hey, where can we find those openings? This was a chance. That's the thing about Game and Gladiators. As that symphony goes, if you take one instrument out of the game, it can be a lot different. And so that's what you have to do is find the opportunity to take one of them out because that team knows how to play together in those team fights very well. Absolutely. Celestial is definitely the carry here for Full Send. They're going to want to orchestrate every attack with that Charizard. They've really put the team on their back. They're playing well and they're getting those key KOs. So if I'm Full Send, I'm saying, Charizard, where are you feeling to go, buddy? Because we're following you. Gaming Gladiators taking a look here. Rotom's going to be the next, ob next objective, followed shortly by the Dreadnought. And I'm going to see where these teams go to because Gaming Gladiators, I think, just wants to engage and take the body, not let Full Send get too far. So you, of course, everybody noticed what we pointed out with the score and that discrepancy kind of early on. It was much more in favor of Gaming Gladiators. It is a little bit closer now. We are not outside of that comeback territory. Notice the Unite moves are going to fly. So there's the Aura Cannon, that Seismic Slam. Everything you need is on the plate. Pikachu, wow, Lucario with the close combat. So good job, Lutano. Pikachu, uh, that's Goof, will end up securing that KO, though. Pivotal right here so that they can get this Rotom on the top lane for a final time this match. Yeah, Red Love just not concerned about the Dreadnought. Doesn't think they'll be able to close it out before Zapdos. Gaming Gladiators, on the other hand, exchanged an Elagos for a Charizard and an Elagos on the other side. They like that exchange. And now they're posturing in the middle here. Look where the purple pips are. They're pushing forward. They're playing forward. They're only up by about 50-ish points, uh, but they're ripping Zapdos right away. They're not letting Full Send posture or even get into the mix here. Unite moves are flying. That's a Unite move, but the left side takes it, and that's Lutano Ooh. sealing that up. Red Love with the Unite move going to put the chase on Toon and Indy. If they can stop one of them, they've got a shot here, but Toon turns around and takes the body here. Look at Zogro coming in with the intercept on the Sing, and a Unite move picks up the players and allows them to score their points. Toon now, after getting their points in, takes on Red Love, gets a KO, and Indy's working a two. Straight duckets going in, and we we're gonna hit a 400 point mark here, unless Full Send does something, and they're starting to close that gap. That 400 ducats, and it was on, ladies and gentlemen. That Starlight Recital coming in from Zugrug was perfectly timed. That's what you want to see. This is exactly what we were talking about as a symphony. They knew that that Zapdos could be pushed out fast, quickly, and easily. And so it's just, are, do they even break a sweat? That is my question. Listen, Full Send's going to try and fill their pockets. There was some good energy on the map. There's a lot of uh, Pokemon to farm right real quick on the map. So they're going to try and do so. And then they're going to have to make a collected push into the face of Gaming Gladiators, who I know won't let their defense fold too easily. And so Full Send, as you say, you know, we just have to try to find out where's an opportunity. If you're Full Send, how can we get some points in? And really, it has to be enough. We, you know, this is not exactly the most comforting score discrepancy and, and lead. Uh, well, it's a comforting lead for Gaming Gladiators. It's not comfortable if you're Full Send, though. We got just about to hit that 30 second mark. Luckily, they will all be together to try to contest this top goal. There's going to be some points going in left and right. Hopefully for Full Send, that's what they need. There's a nice 64. All point values doubled. Zogrug will get that. 
that KO on the Elder Gods. That's going to be Indy Bear. And then look at this Venusaur on a Mad Tear. Of course, that's the Red Luffer full send. What is actually going to happen? Yes, TTV Gaming Gladiator. So sorry. They will pull that victory out right here as it stands. And I am so sorry once again. It's just uh, second nature to call them TTV still. I mean, the full team KO four of those going to tune and i'm pretty sure if you're gaming gladiators and you saw that push at the end all you saw was dollar signs because you're getting ready to stack that score sheet in your favor they took the body wiped them out no problem you know 63 points who cares we won by way more than that about 150 so great look here by gaming gladiators uh, and we're taking a look tune E easy MVP for me. They tend to shine on this team because the team is built to do their jobs and feed them. Uh, with Pokemon Yellow. So that was the game that actually kind of taught him to uh, read or at least helped him along the way. There's the, the starting buzzer, if you want to call it that. Absolutely. The, the Pokemon bond runs deep with the people out here, including myself and, of course, Indy. Here we go. The Cinderace in the center areas here, working through Tune. Not too bad of action. We're going to see who takes the Saldino. Slow smoke off the rip, and we're going to go in here. And I'm going to check the scores here, and it looks like Zugrug was able to get that. Or, yeah, I believe Zugrug got that yep. for the squad. That's not a bad look, and that's going to help them get to that Wigglytuff first and get the Sing. Look at Zugrug posturing up in front here. And that quick little off-the-wall yeah. action from Zugrug. And actually what they're going to do is go back on work on those Pokemon behind them, get that experience and guarantee themselves the same. Well, definitely say uh, triple it on the Pokemon bond and the Pokemon love, ladies and gentlemen. I am all here for this game. And so we are going to determine here with Gaming Gladiators, if they win, then they've won this whole thing. And so this match is highly important. I don't think, you know, I, you don't need me to say it, right, to stress the importance of that. So Lutano and Otter will go ahead and battle it out here for that top path dominance. Here comes Celestial to give them the support, Otter in the top lane, but of course Toon is linking up with Lutano. And we've got the old 2v2 onto these bees here. Uh, Toon likes to kick into Celestial a little bit. Otter with the posturing, getting the bees sent back towards his squad here. Lutano gets the big bee, and now Otter and Celestial. Not too bad, nobody went down, but Bloodline's on the verge down here, and the Goof closes it out on Bloodline. And that's a great KO by them, and really helps this bottom path and sliding in the other direction because it opens up the gate on this Audino. Looking at the top lane, Lucario dunks. That's very nice, ladies and gentlemen. So with that 23, that's going to bring their score up to 27 right here. Still early on, obviously. Otter, with a lot of pressure right here, is able to kind of push them back, actually quite literally, but not escape that KO from Toon. So very nice. And then he will even be uh, treated to a berry to heal up just directly after. Rabbits are fast, as it turns out, Doc. And here we go. Celestial just trying to get close to their own goal zone, but with that presence of Tuna Lutano, they can't. Otter coming in and going to try to put some pressure on, as, of course, Tuna Lutano are not at full HP. Uh, they give up on that. Zug and Indy working on the contestable... Uh, uh, Corefish in the middle there, going to get a little bit of experience for themselves. And now we're going to see how they engage here in the bottom path. So definitely you want to point out Red Love as well. We were looking at the Red Love TTV here as the Ivysaur player for full send. Going to quickly evade that sing right there, so very nice. But uh, he didn't want to fall victim to that. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a little bit more of an uphill battle last game for the Red Love. So this is very nice to see that he is that Ivysaur right now. As we are just seeing the battle take place on the bottom path for the most part. But notice where Lutano is up there on the top path for Gaming Gladiators and that 720 Combi and Vespaquin. Yep, now just ripping through these bees here, trying to get their share of experience, but here comes Toon, right? They're gonna work through, they're gonna take the body, they're gonna get some spacing off of full send, and Zugrog's gonna be a key component of that with that sing. Goof just chipping in, keeping full send stuck in their own goal zone until Lutano can join. Here they come. And now the Dreadnought is here, but Gaming Gladiators have the advantage. Look at those HP bars on full send, and if they don't be careful, they're gonna get taken out. That's a sing that catches three, and now the action's gone. Bloodline is down. The Ivysaur Redlov is down. Oh, that's another player down, that's three. That's Lucario Otter, and now Celestial's on the verge. They get they kicked the puck in here. And of course, just the Eldegoss snow points. They're gonna be dispatched up full team KO and game gladiators. Gonna take the dreadnought, gonna take the full team KO, and again, gonna take that goal zone. That could not have gone too much better if you're game and gladiators. So they are sitting pretty right here, and they are definitely they have to be happy about that. Notice they're even gonna apply that pressure beyond the point of that goal and still secure some of these KOs. Tune an absolute madman in the best way possible. 
just an absolute clinic here by Gaming Gladiators in the last minute. They quite frankly said this is Aos Island and kicked them right in the chest, sending full send fully back down their path because this is becoming a show here for Gaming Gladiators up 250 to the big old goose egg. That's right. You even notice Indie Bear, the Eldegoss player for Gaming Gladiators, even wanted to add a little bit more insult to injury, right? And unfortunately, Lutano will be picked off right there. It might have been a little bit of an overextension, if you want to say that, but Full Send also ascending their entire roster on in. But yes, I was saying Indie Bear, even Cotton Cloud crashed over there. That Unite move back on their goal. And so Full Send will go ahead and break that. Very nice by them. And so we're seeing that 40. It's now a little bit closer, but still the lead for Gaming Gladiators. Yeah, I think Gaming Gladiators is fully content in giving up that goal zone here. I mean, they're up on experience. Not a big deal. We're going to move and we're going to go to that next objective, which is Rotom. You see it postured around them already. And now Celestial and Red Love, they're the damage output here for full send. They're going to have to get in the mix and get in the mix quickly if they want to get into the face of Gaming Gladiators. But they're just kind of kicking around each other. Nobody really can in. Red Love jumping on Toon, though, using the Unite move. Are they going to catch anybody? No, they don't. The Unite move falls flat. And now uh, full send, although getting Rotom, Toon getting in there, taking the body. And one player down for full send. Edelgoss down for Gaming. But here's a Unite move by Goof. KO Shrink a two for Toon. And they're going to keep KO Shrink a three for Toon. Who cares? if they got the Rotom. I'm just taking them all out. And of course, Zugrug gets in the mix on Red Love. Such a wonderful play by Toon, ladies and gentlemen, to catch that moment where your opponent just has a little bit of HP left and they can't even score in. They even had that Rotom advantage. And like you said, we don't even care if we're Gaming Gladiators. Now we don't even care at the Dreadnought because we're going to secure that as well. So Gaming Gladiators looking pretty nice on those objectives, even if you didn't get the Rotom right there. This pretty much still went mostly your way. Yeah, great exchange for gaming gladiators. Now, full send, you need to focus on getting your levels up, getting your experience up, fill those pockets. Four minutes left, the objectives are gonna tick up again one more time. Pick which one you want, move together. Gaming gladiators, on the other hand, don't give an inch, right? Keep the pressure up. You've got the experience lead, and you wanna stick with that. Zugra getting caught a little bit between two players, but here comes the Eldegoss and Lutano to pick them up. Unite move coming through to complete my cotton crash to save Zugra. Zugra's in the mix here, and it looks like gaming gladiators is gonna get out unscathed despite that starting a little wonky for him. Wonky was a good word for that, I would say. Now notice, of course, this 50 right here, so that's gonna be very nice for full send, but just in the wonkiness and everything, that Cotton Cloud crash was pretty nice because it's gonna provide a lot of HP and everything, just in a full big burst like that. Goof, look at this. Goof just hiding out in the tall grass. The slow smoke was deployed at the absolute best time, but can Goof catch up? I think he can, as Snow Points was saying, no, please don't turn me into a salad. Oh my, what a trap laid by Goof and perfectly perfectly executed. A Unite move goes off, Thunder goes off, Thundershock goes off, and that's a goodbye Cotton Ball. Gaming Gladiator still ahead, 279 to 207. So when we look at the score and we look at the clock right here, we are seeing a game that can obviously be swayed in either direction after that final stretch. But if you look at how Gaming Gladiators has been playing, I mean, we, we obviously know that they have sort of an upper hand to some degree, but I do have to commend Full Send, at least kind of sending their roster in where and when it's needed. And so props to them, but it does look like Gaming Gladiators maybe going to pull off this Rotom objective as well. Yeah, they do, and Full Send don't have a lot of uh, AOS energy in their pockets, and that's something they're going to need to change here um, if they want to make some good moves, whether that's a back cap or what have you. And look at the little battle breaking out around Rotom here um, as Rotom is trying to hold back four players from Full Send. Lutano is just getting good vision on the squad. And that was, that was very nice from Lutano because he was hiding out in the tall grass, as we saw, kind of doing the song and dance, maybe charging up that power-up punch just in case something needs to happen, but nothing really needed to happen from his perspective other than what he did. So there it is, left side team, ladies and gentlemen, that's Game Gladiator saying, hey, why not take the Dreadnought before this final stretch, my friend? So that battle for Zathos is going down. The Unite moves, they're flying, that blazing bicycle kick, what? It's going to be right side team, that's full sin coming through. This is what they needed. Let's see if they make this push on those goals. So here it comes, Snow Points, gonna drop this in. That's gonna be a 66 when all point values are doubled. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the spectacle to see what is going to happen next. We're gonna watch these scores unleashed. That's a hundo burger there by Otter. 373, 279, but look, Gaming Gladiators, they're all together in this bottom goal zone. Snow Points trying to hold them back. Goof gonna be able to get 100 here, and that's gonna eke out the lead for them. And now Gaming Gladiators have the lead, but how do they adjust? Look how, back far, how far back Toon is. Look where Full Send is going. 
That's exactly right. We need to watch each player meticulously if we can. So keep an eye on that mini map if you're watching from home. But ladies and gentlemen, this could get very dicey. You still have just a little over a minute. That is time to make some major plays. But man, full send gaming gladiators. They're going to see it's a close battle. So you can't feel especially comfortable like you have the lead just yet, but Gaming Gladiators knows they need to make this push, and so here they come. Doom Snags, are we about to see some ducats, some hundo burgers? I don't think we're gonna see hundo burgers, but somebody needs to chip in. I say that, of course, and yeah, Weedly Tough gets one in up top as all the focus was in the middle, <laughs> and now Full Send is trying to take the body, get Gaming Gladiators down. They're chasing Lutano. Red Love is. Lutano has the level advantage until just then a moment. Red Love closes it out. That's three players down for Gaming Gladiators, but Full Send needs to go convert. I don't know if they saw the hundo go in and look at snow points they're the only one leading the charge here and lucario needs to make a cross with otter that's absolutely right so snow points unfortunately going to be disrupted right there trying to get these goals in sometimes when you try three or four times you just got to say hey i gotta back off of this let the rest of the team actually full send here we go ladies and gentlemen can they pull something off with the countdown they are trying to put on that pressure you saw it there it is that's gonna be a 56 don't do it from full send ladies and gentlemen the time is up was that enough? Was that what they needed? Doom Snacks, I actually do not know. Let's see that score Gaming breakdown. Gaming Gladiator says, are you not entertained? Oh, are you not entertained? Gaming Gladiators, your North American February final champions, etching their name in the record books as the first ones ever. 479, 429. Whoop. That's absolutely right. And so Toon's gonna wear the crown again, but that was absolutely an effort by everyone on the team. Even with Indie Bear at that 26, you saw the support. There was Cotton Cloud crashes all at the right time.